Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to cover the third game in the small battle series from Snafu, Equatorial Clash. If you're interested in the unbaggings of these two games, Ambon and Santander 37, there'll be links in the description. Now, let's dig into this puppy. All right, guys, so this third game is another game by Mark Figueres. Let's take a look at the back. We have one map sheet, 80 die cut counters, 12 page rules, eight pages of historical notes, nice, and four player aid sheets. Like the other games from Snafu, one six-sided dice is required to play, but is not provided. Game designed by Mark Figueres, development, Oscar Oliver and Ivan Pratt. Art graphic design by Niels Johansson. Beautiful stuff, guys. Beautiful. Again, loving this. Loving this whole series. Loving all your all your products. Game plays in 80 to 120 minutes. Two-player game. Medium complexity. Area approximately 10 to 20 kilometer square. Each turn equals roughly two days, and we're dealing with battalion company levels. As with the other two games in the series on the videos, I will have links in the description to all of this stuff. Let's take a look at what we got. Again, nice cardstock. Here's our player aid sheet number one. Combat resolution, other fronts resolution, hits assignment, naval transport. <laughs> Beautiful looking stuff, dudes. Okay. Again, nice card stock. Here's player sheet two. Available actions, AP expenditure, strategic, operational, tactical, and command. Oh, dig into that. Player aid sheet three, you get your counters, markers, unit ID, terrain key, air combat stacking, and refit check. And then it's got, again, the terrain key, some of the information. And like with the other games, the back, same cardstock. And then we've got our player aid sheet four. Action points, victory points, sequence of play, blocked units, eliminated units, reinforcements, and what gives you victory points? Nice. Here's the rule book. Now in this case, the other ones were 12 pages. This is a bit more because it has the eight pages of historical notes. This says it's a 20 page book. That makes sense. About 12 pages of rules. Again, nice bright white paper with the Black text really jumps off the page. Double column, nice size font, easy to read, and color. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. All the way through, operational action, stacking and overstacking. Again, full color example. Here's some tactical actions, combat, Peruvian Airborne. Nice. And historical background. Oh, I'm gonna love this. My uh, ex-wife was Peruvian and both my daughters are half Peruvian. So this is of interest to me. I'm going to dig into this. So if I didn't mention it, <laughs> what is the game about? Which I probably didn't. In 1941, Peru and Ecuador fought a brief border war featuring Czech tanks, Italian and American planes, former British ships, and for the first time in America, an airborne operation. 
the overall 200-year border dispute between both countries only resolved as late as 1998 was typical of many border conflicts. But as R.B. St. John points out, if it was at all unique, it was in the complexity, duration, and intensity. Now keep in mind, this game is played in 1941, July, before Pearl Harbor. This went on. The world was truly at war. Let's take a look at the counters. Again, beautiful. Beautiful counters. Front and back. Very nice. I can't say beautiful enough, can I? Absolutely gorgeous components in all of their products. Let's take a look at this map. So nice stock. Now this is a bit, again, larger than what I can put on my table. But what's really cool about this is it comes kind of in looking like a newspaper. Or it gives you that feel. So I'm going to turn this sideways just so I can get it onto my table. And we'll just have a quick scan. Wow. Look at that. Have a close up of some of this. I'm sorry for the glare and the light when I get it up there. So, guys, just a quick look at the components inside Equatorial Clash. Again, this is number three in Snafu's small battle series. I don't know when a number four is coming, but I am definitely looking forward to it. And that will be on the channel whenever that gets created. Hopefully soon. Guys, if you're watching this, pick up the pace. Time to get another one done. As always, guys, I appreciate you taking time to check out what we do here on the channel. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye for now.